Hello everyone. In this Minecraft Create Mod tutorial, I'll be going over 25 tips and tricks for you guys using your create worlds, both creative and survival. We're going to start off with something I'm sure a lot of people know, but I still think it's important anyways. You can actually pick up spawners using create. Under your spawner, one block down, place a card assembler on a rail, click a lever, it'll create a contraption, and then you can just pick it up with a wrench, move it to wherever you want it to go, grab your rail, place it back down, break your minecart, and boom, you've moved a spawner. Another sweet thing you do with the minecart contraption is you can actually make a little mini storage room. So here I've got these eight chests kind of sitting on this minecart contraption. I can flick the lever, grab my minecart, take it wherever I want, place it back down, activate the lever, and boom, have a little early game shulker box. Another neat thing you do with minecarts is you can actually make some contraptions with them. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm using a Minecraft contra minecart contraption to work as a little simple door. There's a lot you can do with just these little minecarts. So linear chassis don't always have to be used for contraptions. You can also use them as a pretty good scaffolding. Because in survival, if you hold shift and right click them, you break them in one hit and they go right into your inventory. Another cool thing you can do is if you combine this along side of block zapper, you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. You can see you can easily <laughs> pretty much instant minus video. Next tip is by far the best way to connect a large structure without using super glue is using radial chassis because they won't only go in a straight line, they will go in whatever kind of angles you want, as long as it's within that eight block up to 16 block area. When working with chassis, you can see the outline of whatever block you're trying to select. If you hold control, you can see the block that all the chassis are connected to that are connected up. Another thing you can do with control is you can actually adjust the range of every chassis at once instead of adjusting them individually. Another neat thing you can do with a wrench is you can actually rotate blocks. Rotate mini, create contraptions and items based on your wrench location. It'll basically rotate in a little circle around wherever your wrench is. A neat thing that you can do with deployers is if you right click the hand with a wrench, give it a sword or another weapon, it'll actually kill mobs, which is one of the only ways to get player drops. Fans can make pretty neat early game elevators. If you stand in a fan beam, it'll take you all the way to the top. If you hold shift, you'll softly go down to the ground. When moving across belts, you can actually hold shift and move freely on the belts. You can put filters inside of filters, 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 and it will still work. Essentially having infinite filtering capabilities. When placing a schematic that contains a funnel holding a filter, it'll actually keep that filter, essentially giving you a way to duplicate filters and get infinite filters in your survival worlds. You can transfer rotational power from vertical to horizontal using a large cogwheel. If you kind of face the shaft in a certain direction, you have a little arrow pointing up, transferring the power from here to here. The metal and wooden brackets can be used by placing them on either shafts our fluid pipes as a neat little decoration tool. Metal frames have wool in them or not. You can actually set the text that a Nexi tube displays using a name tag. And you can even automate this using a deployer. The turntable block used to craft the bearings is an actual block that you can place in your world and spin little stuff around with it. Shoots can be placed up at an angle, allowing for transfer of items not just vertically but horizontally too at an angle. You can enchant sandpaper with Unbreaking 3 to allow you to make more rose quartz. Now that might not necessarily be required because you can actually stack sandpaper by putting it through a chute into a deployer. Now that doesn't just work with sandpaper, it'll actually work with a whole bunch of tools. Allowing you to do some kind of wacky stuff. 